Fran, tell us about what the fifth largest district in the United States is doing to teach every single kid in their computer science in the K to five years. Good morning. Oh, excuse me. Good morning from Nevada, everyone. Obviously, some of you are definitely attending um, where it's the PM already. So thank you so much for having me today. I greatly appreciate that. I can certainly tell you that I am excited. And the fact that we are all here together makes a significant difference. I am honored to say that I am proud as a result of making sure that um, this presentation on behalf of the Clark County School District makes a significant difference. I will also say that I am absolutely ecstatic that I have this opportunity to make sure that um, everyone here has an opportunity to learn about the fifth largest school district in the country. As I share with you this information regarding the um, fact that we are in the southern part of the state, we border California. Arizona and Utah. With 380 plus schools, um, we are the fifth largest school district in the country. And as a result of that, there's a lot to address, but we're proud to do it. Um, we are excited to say that all 380 plus schools have computer science in them and that every single K-5 student in elementary school is also learning computer science. That is super exciting, primarily based on the fact that Starting next year, every single school in the Clark County School District will have computer science on their report card. Obviously, as you can understand and imagine, there is a significant amount of individuals that want to make sure that computer science is happening. And this is the way that we get to share that we know that we're really making it happen to begin with. So that's really that awesome information that I wanted to share with you. On June 15th of 2017, SB 200 was written. It said that it is not only amazing groundbreaking legislation, but that K-12 computer science was going to be required for the entire state. By saying that, we obviously want to make sure that we include the fact that there is the opportunity to include not only our high schools where there's a graduation requirement, and that there's now a full year course of computer science required in every high school within the state. But also because of the fact that we are proud to say that our K-5 students are thriving, excited, understanding exactly what they wanna do in terms of making sure that they too will be able to learn and then go on to learn even more by the time they get to high school. So we are super excited about that legislation that broke at that point, and we continue to make sure that we want to allow everyone in the state, around the country, around the world, to know how successful we are within that opportunity. I just want to share that we do have standards in K-12 that are computer science, as well as integrated technology standards. Both of those in alignment with each other work for each of the students to understand exactly all of the standards concepts, as well as the opportunity to make sure that they understand how to apply them. So each of the different places that we have those opportunities to make that happen, combine together and allow K-5 computer science to grow, 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 and continue to make sure that students are educated in those entities. I have this great picture to demonstrate how students are utilizing computer science, integrated technology knowledge in a plug scenario as well as an unplug scenario. As a result of that, they get to use devices and learn the, the computer science standards there as well as unplugged and do activities like reading and interacting with each other in ways that they're developing their own programs even without being digitally connected. So that allows for everyone within the state and of course within the district to make sure that even if they don't necessarily always have the resources available to them, they can always still continue to learn about computer science. And that's a fantastic opportunity as well. So finally, I'm excited to say that I will be sharing my sharing information um, during the state's breakout um, sessions as well, just for the Clark County School District. So I look forward to seeing everyone there and I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Thank you so much.
That's fantastic, Fran. And, you know, this is really, it's been so wonderful to realize that four totally different districts from totally different parts of the country and, and, and student populations have all been able to accomplish universal K-5 to computer science education. It really uh, uh, seems to put this within range for all of us. And so it's been inspiring to really hear, hear these examples.